Well, welcome to my studio. Today I'm working on embellishing one of my limited original giclées on canvas. I showed you the full image of the painting in the first frame. This is a piece I did. It's the Carmel Mission, and there is a sculpture of Saint Sarah out in front of the mission. Father Sarah helped to establish some of the 21 missions in California, and the Carmel Mission was his base. The first mission he established was Mission San Diego. This painting I did the original as a commission for the Sarah Club of Dallas. They are a Catholic organization that promote vocations within the church. They help men and women, young men and women that are wanting to make a career of being in the church and they help them develop their opportunities that they have or present opportunities for them for careers within the church to further the word of our Lord. And so this gicle is of that painting is going to be presented to Bishop Kelly. And the blue is part of his coat of arms. And so we want to change the salvia to blue to represent the blue in his coat of arms, and it represents his love for the Blessed Mother Mary, Jesus' mother. And so we're changing these flowers to make them blue for his coat of arms. That's the fun of these limited originals, is I can go back in, I can change flower colors and add, add different flowers and so it's, it's really a lot of fun. And this I'm using a mixture of cobalt blue plus white. And that's just perfect for, for this. These were, these are just those tall spiky flowers that hummingbirds just absolutely love. And we're just going to take a little artistic license and make them blue. When I'm embellishing my limited originals, I use oil paints, but these are called alkyd oils, and they dry a little faster than regular oil paints, so that I can really apply lots of texture and it dries quickly. So that's a really nice thing. If you're an artist and you are working on a painting and you need it to dry quickly, consider using alkyd oils because they they do dry quicker, you can add a lot of texture, and you don't have to wait a month or so for it to dry all the way through. This will be dry within a couple of days. It's really neat if you're working on a painting that you've got a deadline or something approaching and you need to be able to ship it want it to be dry or for a show or something. We'll add some little lighter touches. This again is, is white plus the cobalt blue. This just gives a little... Salvia usually has just a little tiny kind of white or light, light lavender, light blue. We're going to make it light blue. On regular salvia it's more in the lavender tones, but since we're making this blue salvia, we're just going to make it blue. The angle, the perspective looks a little skewed because I have to have the camera at an angle so I can paint. If I had the camera directly straight onto the painting, I'd be in front of it and you couldn't see. This is A little white here to just really make that stand out. The light's really catching these. And that blue looks really brilliant with that orange. Orange and blue are complementary colors. They're crossed from each other on the color wheel. So the blue next to the orange makes that orange appear even more brilliant. 
I'll come back in a little bit and even add more color onto those daylilies, the orange daylilies. But right now we're working on the on the salvia. Then we're going to add some red daisies here in the corner. And these represent Jesus' blood, Christ's blood. When he died on the cross for our sins, he shed his blood that was shed for our sins. And I had originally signed the original painting in this corner, but since we're putting these red flowers in here, I signed it on the other side, and I'll just take that signature out. So we just make, I'm using mixtures, this cadmium red deep, and then I'm also using some cadmium red light. Don't have room for a lot of them, but I'm going to put five in there. And the reason I'm putting five in there is this represents the wounds on Christ's hands, two hands, the wounds in his feet, and the spear in his side. So we have five red flowers that signify the wounds where Christ shed blood for us. We have just enough room for those. Now we want these to have centers, so I'm going to put in, do yellow centers, and I can just brace my hand against my easel and put in the yellow center. And this is cadmium yellow, me cadmium yellow medium. Now this one over here is getting a little more in shadow, so I'm going to add just a tiny bit of my mud, which is ultra, two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson. So a little mud's in that. So see, you can see that's a little bit darker, a little more muted. It's more in the shadow than this one down here. So, pulling up that paint. Now I'm going to add a little detail within the, within the centers. Come in and add a dark. And this is my mixture. This is my mud mixture. Again, that's two parts ultramarine blue and one part alizarin crimson. I, And now for the final part of that center, it's a three-step process here. Come back to my yellow, my cadmium yellow medium. And I make just a small center within that dark. We don't have much room, but we want just a few little leaves to show. These break out over the, the day lilies. These are in front. And now last, I'm going to add just a few highlights of cadmium red light.
just a little tip, tip right there. This will get more light here. And there's our daisies. So we now have the blue salvia and the red daisies. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and also come visit my blog. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of the video. I thank you very much and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.